Today we're going to be focusing on using the standard algorithm with a number when subtracting across zeros. In our problem, 500 minus 163, again we make sure our largest number is on top. You can only ever borrow from your next door neighbor. In this case, I need to borrow in the ones place, but when I look at the tens, there are no numbers there for me to borrow. So I'm going to move to the hundreds. I'm going to borrow one group of 100, which would mean my 500 would become 400, but I can only ever move my number over one place value. Well, a group of 100 is the same as 10 tens, so I'm going to put a 10 in my tens place, which makes me able to borrow from that place value now. Now I'll look next door and I'll borrow one group of 10, which means I would have nine tens left, and add it to the ones, which would mean that I have 10 ones. Now I can subtract all of my place values. 10 minus 3 equals 7, 9 minus 6 equals 3, and 4 minus 1 equals 3. When working flexible with numbers, we also look at what 500 means. If we can't borrow from our next door neighbor, which is a zero, we can look across the board and notice that there are 50 tens that we see. If we decide to just borrow one group, we would be left with 490, and that one group of 10 that we borrowed would move to the ones, which would make the same as 490 plus 10. Now we can subtract all of our place values without borrowing more than once. 10 minus 3 is 7, 9 minus 6 is 3, and 4 minus 1 is 3.